Hey everyone, it's Jen again from The Watch Village and today we're going to be reviewing this beautiful Cartier Santos in the medium size which holds a reference code WSSA0029. We really love this one. This stylish watch has got that classic Cartier look and never fails to capture the attention. And did you know that the Santos is actually one of the first ever wristwatches created by Louis Cartier in 1904 for his good friend Alberto Santos Dumont who was a well-known aviator Hence the watch is named Santos. So without further ado, let's get right into this review. Packaging wise, we've got that iconic red Cartier outer box. And then once we open that up, we've got again another red inner presentation box. Very luxurious looking with the gold detailing on there. Inside that, we've got the black fabric detailing with the gold Cartier logo there as well. As for the specs of this watch, it is an automatic piece powered by the Calibre 1847MC movement and the watch sizes up with a diameter of 31.5mm, a lug width of 18.5mm and a thickness of 8.83mm making it the medium size model. Really good for every day, also great as a dress watch, just a really versatile piece. Moving on now to the dial which is super iconic straight away you just know that you're looking at a Cartier watch with that beautiful square dial. This watch does actually come in the blue variation as well but for me the white is just what sets it off and it's what Cartier is known for. Again an absolute classic feature of this watch is those large Roman numeral hour markers as they do add that classic timeless look. The central minute track is also such a unique but effective bit of detailing as it obviously adds a nice quirky touch to the dial whilst also emphasising the watch's square shape. As for the hands, they are in the baton style and are coloured in an amazing shade of blue which really adds a nice pop of colour to this watch without it being too distracting. And as with pretty much every Cartier watch, the dial is so simple yet effective Cartier do an amazing job of making the most out of all of the small details that they put on their watches, making them very distinctive, especially this Santos. Taking a look now at the bezel on this watch, it's also quite unique in the way that it's being blended really well into the case and bracelet of the watch. It's made from polished stainless steel and features eight of those renowned exposed Cartier screws, which very much symbolise the brand's aesthetic. Although the bezel has been beautifully merged and somewhat semi-integrated into the case, it is slightly raised which does just allow it to be distinguished from the rest of the watch and kind of makes it its own little piece on there. The lugs, very much like the bezel, have also been merged nicely with the case, making it one whole cohesive piece and they've been rounded off really nice and smoothly without taking away from the squareness of the watch rather than having some sharp pointy out lugs just makes the whole piece really cohesive and fluid. And seeing as how we've brought it up so many times we may as well jump onto the case. As you can see it is that beautiful gorgeous square case that Cartier is known for made from mostly brushed stainless steel with a small amount of polish just on the edges to help kind of give it a pop of character and blend it all in really well. And as I said it's the square case and the square doll that Cartier are really known for. On the crown side of the case you can see that it's obviously a little bit different to the smooth side whereby we've got a lovely set of crown guards that taper around the crown nicely just for that added bit of protection. And speaking of which the crown is actually one of my favourite features on this watch. It's got a nice seven sided shape with a lovely little blue synthetic gem popped on there. Really helps to tie the crown in with the hands on this watch and make it a more fluid piece overall. Moving on now to the bracelet, as you can see it's a brushed stainless steel piece and it features what Cartier refers to as a smart link bracelet whereby you can resize the bracelet yourself with no additional tools needed and it also makes it very easy to change the strap over to say a leather strap for example. The rectangular links all fit together seamlessly which I love the look of and of course we have more of those exposed screws on the links which tie in really nicely with the bezel and again keep the fluidity with the whole aesthetic of the watch. I also like the way that the screws have been polished individually just to make them stand out as their own pieces rather than getting lost in the bracelet as one big brushed design. And of course not forgetting the clasp, it fits into the rest of the bracelet really nicely. It's quite small and doesn't draw too much attention to itself and obviously has that Cartier logo embedded onto it as well. And last but not least the case back, pretty much standard for Cartier this one. 
It's a closed piece featuring brushed stainless steel with not much going on really except for the Cartier logo engraved on there and the regular watch details. And there we have it guys, that's it for this week's review. Really hope you've enjoyed this one. Feel free to check it out on our website at thewatchvillage.co.uk or get in touch with us if you'd like us to source you one of these watches or any other Cartier model. And as always, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up as well if you liked it. And hopefully I'll see you again in the next one.